In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Sourcely. Sourcely is a tool for you to be able to input text just for like, if you're trying to write a review or a research article or even a research paper for class, you can put in something that you need to cite and it will help you find citations for that sentence. I will leave a link um, below and I also have a code if you're interested in getting a discount on Sourcely. There are two different codes that I will link below, one for the monthly plan and one for the yearly plan if you're interested in that discount. So this is Sourcely and I do have a Sourcely Pro version. So some of these um, features may not be available for free, but Sourcely is a free tool and does have a free way to use it. So if I come in here, I can just write any sentence or I can take from an actual paper and put it in here to write that sentence. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to say ion mobility spectrometry is a gas phase ion separator that can separate isomer species. So I know this is a true sentence. I've worked in this field for a long time. So what I'm looking for is specific citations that I can use to be able to cite for this sentence. So I can come here and just click find sources and then it's gonna say scroll down to see results. So we can see that we're getting results here. And now you may be able to do this on many different kind of tools of just getting random um, citations, but most of those tools are looking more for questions. They're not looking for citing a specific paragraph or a specific sentence. But what I really like about Sourcely is not only do they have the general filters that most other tools have like publications and citations, but they also have the ability to include or exclude keywords. So in specific here, I'm going to include isomer and ion mobility as an include keyword here. And then I'm going to remove, so you can see right here, this says cyclic in it. I'm gonna remove cyclic from it. So if I refilter this now, you can see that some of those went away now. Now it has to include ion and it could be in the abstract that it's including that isomer and it's excluding cyclic. Now cyclic is a type of biomobility, so I'm gonna remove that again and refilter. And so now we're getting a little bit better um, way of looking at it. It's not excluding actual relevant information. This one right here is probably the one that I would like to use. So if I wanna look at it, I can click summary here and it's going to try and generate a summary for me. I do you think this is a pro feature? Just to let you know, so you might not be able to get this summary on the free feature. Um, so it says that it's talking about eye mobility and metabolomics. Um, it explores eye mobility for metabolome com coverage, analysis throughput, and isomer separation. So it is saying it's talking about isomer separation there. Um, so that's actually a pretty good one that might be good to discuss here, especially if I'm writing, like a lot of my graduate school work was done in steroids. Steroids are a metabolite, so it does make sense for me to um, cite something like this review here. So if I click visit, it's going to open up a new page. It's gonna take me to Semantic Scholar's page on this paper. I will leave a link up above to a video that I did on Semantic Scholar. Um, but this does look like it is a review. Yeah, it's published in Mass Spectrometry Reviews. And from here, I can go straight to the DOI or I can view on PubMed. The DOI is probably going to take me to the actual like journal that it was published in. So this is a review article. And now I'm going to look for the actual information that I'm looking for. So you can see this sentence right here. Currently, eye mobility spectrometry is being explored as a way to improve metabolome coverage analysis throughput and isomer separation. So we've got the isomer separation check there. So you can see it's gas phase separation. So we've got all the components just within the abstract. Um, you could additionally check within the actual PDF as well to make sure it's in there. But now I have all the components that I need to use this as my citation for this sentence up here if I was to um, use that in a text. Now you can also see that I have the ability to download a the PDF if there is a free PDF available and I can even filter to just include the PDF. So if I refilter to only those with PDFs, you can see now all of these have download PDF available um, tend to be. So overall, that is how I could use it to find the citation that I want to use for whatever I'm trying to cite. Now I can do something more specifically. So I'm gonna talk about previously steroid glucuronide isomers have been 
successfully separated through ion mobility spectrometry. So I'm going to do a new sentence here. This one's specifically talking about previous research done, not just a general um, information-based thing. So specifically with this sentence, I want to be able to look for different research articles that would be able to um, talk about that steroid glucuronide isomers have been separated through this. So using this, I'm going to include the keywords glucuronide in it because with this, it might not know which keywords are the most important here. So I really want to make sure that it includes glucuronide here. And I'm going to be careful about including a ton of keywords because it might give me less and less good results the more keywords I'm including um, versus just allowing it to figure it out for itself. So from this, we get the first one is eye mobility spectrometry and tandem mass spectrometry analysis of estradiol-glucuronide isomers. That's one of the ones that I would use. Um, that's my own paper, as you can see there. If we keep going, we have this one, determination of testosterone and epitestosterone glucuronides in urine. Those are the two that I was originally thinking about for this um, paper, but there could be other ones as well that I don't want to miss. So I'm going to look through this really quick to see if there's other ones that are talking specifically about that. And it doesn't really look like, so this is a novel side of the determination of a glucuronidation. Um, I don't know if that's specific to steroids though, but that could also be interesting to include in that. So yeah, it looks like the majority of the ones done, I would choose this one and this one, sorry, this one to cite. Um, and that's because I read it. So I would still need to go find these papers and read them to make sure it is talking about what I want it to be talking about. But that is a good way to be able to find the specific papers without having to say like, how has this happened or something like that um, in like something like SciSpace or um, Perplexity AI or Elicit. So now once you have this, you can um, export this information out. So if you click these three dots, you can click export references and you can um, pick the different citation style here or the bib text file. If you want to um, see how I would do this to cite within Word or using Zotero or something like that, leave me a comment down below um, if you're interested in that. So overall, that is Sourcely. If you are working on writing your own research article, I will also leave a link to my scientific research paper checklist. It just gives you a framework for how to write your research articles successfully. And I hope to see you in the next video.